So I want to I want to pose this question to the room, and then Troy, after I ask this question, maybe you could do the raffle. Yeah, that's we don't forget yeah, about yeah. that. Yep. But um, so Boeing pled guilty to criminal fraud charges, um, stemming from seven thirty seven uh max crashes, and um that uh the the company, um I think they had to pay. Uh, they have to. They were ordered to pay four hundred eighty-seven million in fines. Four hundred eighty-seven million dollars in fines, right? So, um, should the company halt production until improvements are made? Um, how do you feel about the stock? How do we feel about just in general when something like this happens? Like this is literally like lives mm -hmm. at stake, right? Um, from and actually, somebody remember we talked about this on Blackout. The guy that came forward, um, the whistleblower. Mm -hmm ended up killing himself mysteriously so um what's what's the what's the take on this like i said every, everybody can kind of just chime in on this conversation i'll be quick and, and thank god for picking this day for me to answer this question when my connection is not good um and we have to take in consideration that boeing is part consumer but, but part defense contractor so they although they should be shut down I think the powers that be don't want them to be at this time. Um, but I've been against the stock since we first started the show. I'm not a big fan of any companies that are has an engine as a main, but also as of reasons like this. Um, there are a few other companies, maybe one day we'll talk about it on Blackout, but I'm not a fan of this company long term. This will go into my IBM and Intel um, category as uninvestable for me. But I think we need to have more conversations about how can even though all the stuff that he did was nefarious Boeing isn't getting half the coverage that Diddy got mm. and nobody died yeah, so right. planes are falling out of the sky and it's gotten so bad that even politicians are concerned about flying on Boeing aircrafts so that if they're taken out it doesn't look like it was a mistake I think he needs to go back into to everyone who's listening. B613 in government. I don't want any issues, so leave me alone. This is AI, <laughs> not me. <laughs> but maybe he needs another congressional hearing <laughs> and let me live. So you're hey, the best, best. Okay? The, the, be the best part is that we could just say that this was your AI talking. We, we never saw you. So we'll use yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't, There's no way to prove it. I, I'm with you. I think the, the one of the most important things inside of business is trust. And if you look at what they were found guilty of, it, it wasn't because there were the the parts mal, uh, were malfa mal malfunctioning. It was because they committed fraud, right? The parts malfunctioned, and then they tried to cover it up. Um, yeah. And so when, when you're talking about people's lives on a daily basis, from a stock standpoint, I, morally, I, I just couldn't do it. But if you look at it, and this, I'm glad you brought up it's a defense contract as well. If you look how the stock performed today, even with this 500 million that they have to eventually pay out, it could be more. I think the families of the victims, and we're talking about maybe three to four crashes, they actually uh, were suing for 25 billion. And so to, mm -hmm. to have 500 million in fines is, I mean, it's a slap on the wrist. But if you look at the stock, it was up a dollar today. Even with the fines and, and the lawsuits, and obviously, people who have lost their lives traveling on their on their planes, the stock was still up a dollar today. What that, what does that tell you? When you have government contracts, when the government, and again, this is <laughs> we don't want any problems with the government, obviously. But when when the government is involved in making sure that your business stays afloat and they have the best interest is for the company to stay alive, you will see things like this happen. So Boeing isn't going anywhere. Is it a stock that I would invest in? I actually kind of grown into Ian's approach where, you know, investing in things that have motors and engines, probably not the best thing, especially when there's so many op other opportunities inside the space. So number one, don't trust it. Number two, want to invest in it for that reason. Boeing move around like Supreme Team in the eighties and nineties and nothing happens let let us have driven around and got into an accident we would have had litigation and, and then lied about it and then lied yes. about it Keith, yes. any, any, anything you want to add to this i would say you look at boeing uh you look at enron worldcom volkswagen emission scandal i mean if you want to go through all of the scandals that these companies have they get away with murder once, once they start making billions of dollars and trillions right. of dollars, all of those companies get away with murder. The amount of scandals that they sweep under the rug, every Johnson single one Johnson. of these companies, it gets to a point where they just become untouchable. And especially when you got military contracts 
And, you know, it gets it gets a great area right there to where they are basically legally allowed to do illegal things. Right. And so I think that it's the American way, you know, and I think that, you know, we 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 act like there is the more high ground that exists in America. But when it comes to capitalism, there isn't one. When we look at, uh, you talk about Johnson & Johnson, we look at big pharma companies, right, to aviation companies, anything that deals with, you know, high levels of millions of dollars, government contract, billions of dollars, it's always going to be profit over people, right? It's always going to be. And all they care about is their duty to deliver more profits to the shareholders. That's it, right? And so... You know, I think that the same moral scale that we judge them by, which we really just breeze it off, right? It's the same moral scale that we have to judge all companies by. You know what I mean? Like Boeing has cases out right now about murder and fraud and all sort of other things that we probably would never hear about. But does that change the way that we really perceive the company? The average person, no, they really don't care. We only care about salacious scandals and gossip, right? That's low hanging fruit and specifically our culture. But I look at those companies as all the same. I look at the same way y'all might judge a Diddy. I'm a judge of Boeing, right? Because we live and exist in America. And so really go find me a company who hands are clean. I don't think you can do it. I was just having a conversation, sit down with Robert F. Kennedy and he claimed that, you know, the government took out his pops, and his uncle. Right. And then our uncles as well, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. So I think the the only thing I get surprised about in this country is when we get surprised about the country and what happens in it. 